As we stepped into the new year, a 2020 trade pact between the United States and China expired with no signs of revival. This is bound to have ramifications and let's tell you why that is. Beijing fell short of its promises by great margins. The White House has not responded to this yet. But it is expected to cause a dilemma for the Biden administration, as could potentially bring back some tariffs as well that were removed due to the trade deal. But that could also backfire for Washington because if Beijing decides to retaliate by cutting back purchases from the United States and imposes curbs on Americans to do business on its soil, this will affect a long list of Americans who deal in China often for their business. So they are closely watching what the pact expiry would mean for them. While Biden and his administration have openly called out for China for most disagreements, experts are saying that it is unlikely that he would escalate tensions with China because he is seeking to tame inflation back at home and also work on his domestic agenda. The United States has been very vocal about the fundamental concerns with China's non-market trade policies and practices. They are seen harmful for U.S. economy. According to the pact, China agreed to increase its purchase of U.S. goods and services by $200 billion. But China was 17% short on its agricultural goal, 41% short on the manufacturing goal, 62% short of the energy goal, and there has been a drop of 32% in U.S. service exports to China for 2020. Beijing has blamed the pandemic for its economic fallout. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.